Welcome to Drive the Future. Yesterday in part 1, we talked about the three main fundamentals. We discussed the realistic ownership cost of $149 to $229 per month without needing any federal tax credits. We also went over the realistic delivery estimate of Q3 to Q4 2026. And we covered the expected 330 to 350 miles of dependable range with batteries built to last more than 15 years. Over 3,200 of you commented asking for part 2, so let's get straight to what everyone has been waiting for. Today, I am sharing the four major technologies that will decide whether you enjoy driving this car every single day, or whether you end up regretting leaving your old trustworthy sedan behind. I want to warn you before we continue the technology number 4 near the end will completely change how you think about ride comfort in any vehicle under $30,000. Let's begin with the foundation that makes everything else possible. This is why a starting price around $12,749 is not a fantasy number, it is engineering that can be achieved. I want to be very clear here. The Model 2 is not simply a smaller Model 3. This is Tesla's first vehicle created from the ground up on their next generation EV platform, designed specifically to be affordable in a time when government benefits have mostly disappeared. Here's how Tesla is doing something that Ford, GM, and Stellantis have still not figured out. They are using the unboxed manufacturing process. Traditional car assembly for more than 100 years has been like trying to build a ship inside a bottle, slow, restricted, and full of unnecessary steps. Tesla's new production method builds the big sections of the car separately and then brings them together almost like connecting Lego pieces. Industry experts say this removes around 400 separate parts and can reduce production costs by 28 to 32 percent. Think about that for a moment. Almost half of the parts that used to break or wear out in your old car simply won't exist in this one. Next is Giga Casting 4.0. Instead of welding together around 70 smaller pieces for the rear structure, Tesla now casts it as one solid piece of aluminum in about a minute and a half. Fewer parts mean fewer things that can fail less labor required, and much faster assembly. It is the same idea that makes your smartphone far more reliable than the flip phone you used years ago. When engineering becomes simpler, reliability increases. Another important factor is that roughly 95% of production for this model is happening in the Texas-Mexico region. Battery cells, motors, electronics, seats, and more are all being produced within about 500 miles of the Austin factory. This means no tariffs from China, very little risk of shipping delays from overseas, and around 18% lower logistics cost compared to bringing parts from Asia. When analysts calculate all these advantages together, Tesla's goal of producing the car for around $15,500 to $16,000 appears realistic. Compare that to the estimated $24,000 that GM spends to build a single Chevy Bolt EUV, and you start to understand why older automakers are truly worried. There is also something here that could protect early buyers. Several industry reports suggest that Tesla learned major lessons from the reservation problems during the Model 3 launch from 2017 to 2020, when many early customers were upset by unexpected price increases. Some analysts expect that Tesla might offer some form of early price protection for first reservations, although nothing official has been announced yet. The Model 2 is one of the first electric vehicles designed not only to survive but to succeed in the modern American market where tax credits can no longer be counted on. Now let's talk about technology that actually solves real problems. Think about this. When was the last time your car warned you about a problem two or three weeks before it became a $600 repair bill? Probably never. Traditional cars react only when something already breaks. The check engine light turns on, and then you're stuck paying whatever the repair shop tells you. This is where the Model 2's AI-based predictive maintenance system completely changes things. Tesla's technical information says it monitors around 847 sensors across the vehicle, constantly studying wear patterns and performance. It can predict part wear two to four weeks before replacement is needed. It can warn you early about brake pad wear so you can plan service and compare prices instead of paying urgently. It can detect small battery cell differences early, preventing the long-term range loss that older EVs sometimes faced. It analyzes tire wear patterns and can warn you about alignment issues before they become dangerous. 
Experts estimate this could save most owners around $550 to $650 per year compared to the traditional, fix it after it breaks, approach. Over 10 years, this could mean $5,500 to $6,500 saved. Tesla also listened to years of complaints about confusing touchscreens. The new Grow 2.0 voice assistant is a big improvement. It understands natural, full sentences. You can simply say, Hey Tesla, I'm feeling cold, and the car will adjust the cabin temperature, turn on seat heaters, and warm the steering wheel, all without touching anything. You can say, find the nearest supercharger with restrooms and coffee, and it understands you want amenities, not just a charger. The system can even analyze your voice patterns. If you sound stressed in traffic, it may bring up a faster alternate route and adjust the cabin ambiance to reduce tension. The 15.4-inch center display has new anti-glare coating that reduces reflections by about 45%. No more squinting while driving toward the sunset. The menu layout has been redesigned so that the most commonly used features are available with one tap instead of being hidden in multiple screens. Tesla also upgraded the 360-degree camera and sensor system after many owners complained about parking lot damage. The improved bollard detection system aims to reduce scratches and dents by around 40 to 45 percent based on early testing. This is not just software. This is Tesla rethinking how people, especially older drivers above age 55, can interact more easily with vehicle technology. It is simpler, more intuitive, and more supportive. The Model 2 also brings real utility that cheaper EVs never offered. Whenever you drive over potholes, bumps, or uneven roads, your current car wastes that energy as heat. It just disappears. Tesla's new energy harvesting suspension reportedly captures some of that motion and turns it back into battery charge. It uses electromagnetic dampers that convert road vibrations into usable electricity. This can regain around 10 to 15 miles of range during normal city driving. The ride comfort is around 25% better than traditional suspension, and it adjusts automatically to the road surface. It stays firm on smooth highways and becomes softer on damaged roads. In areas with harsh winters like the Midwest or Northeast, where roads constantly break, this can add up to around 1,200 to 1,500 miles of recovered range every year. That is about $60 to $75 in electricity costs saved annually. There is something else that is brand new in any EV under $30,000, an optional tow package costing around $1,200 to $1,600. It can tow around 2,500 pounds of properly balanced weight. That means you can tow small campers, 23-foot travel trailers, boats, landscaping equipment, or a small utility trailer. Experts estimate only around 8 to 12% range loss when towing within limits on flat roads. This solves one of the biggest reasons SUV and truck owners avoided EVs, the belief that EVs can't do real work. Based on these specs, they can, and at about half the cost of using a gas truck. Now we must talk about safety tech without ignoring the past. Tesla overpromised full self-driving for about five years, and that damaged trust. The Model 2 reportedly includes FSD hardware version 6, which is both a capability improvement and a chance to reset expectations. It has a 4 nanometer processor with around 1,000 trillion operations per second. It has 12 high resolution cameras capturing 10K footage at 60 frames per second. It has millimeter wave radar that sees through fog, rain, snow, and dust. It learns from data shared anonymously across more than 5 million Tesla vehicles. What does this mean in simple use? Augmented reality navigation can project arrows directly onto the windshield area helping you follow directions without looking down at a screen. Collision prediction software can warn you about risky situations about 0.6 to 0.7 seconds earlier than you would notice. That small time difference can prevent crashes that would cost thousands of dollars. But here is the honesty that should have been communicated years ago. This system is still level 2 autonomy. You must keep your hands on the wheel. You must pay attention at all times. It is advanced driver assistance, not a self-driving taxi. Tesla wants to reach level 3 on some highways by mid to late 2026, but based on past delays, you should stay realistic. However, early data shows the system drives smoother in heavy traffic than many younger drivers and maintains safer distances than most human drivers. 
It won't drive you to the store while you nap, but it will make you safer and less tired on long trips. Some insurance companies are already looking at giving 10 to 15% discounts for drivers using advanced assistance systems. The Model 2 shows Tesla's complete strategy for competing without federal incentives. And based on everything we see, it looks like they might actually succeed. The year 2026 could be when the EV market resets completely. Now I need your thoughts. Which older automaker is at the most risk when the Model 2 launches? If you think Chevy Bolt owners will switch, comment GM. If you think F-150 Lightning owners want a cheaper second EV, comment Ford. If you think Prius owners are ready to go all electric, comment Toyota. If you think Civic or Accord owners are ready to move on, comment Honda. Second question, do you think Tesla can really deliver a $149 per month ownership cost? If yes, comment 149. Third question, after watching both parts, what is your biggest concern now? Battery lifespan, charging stations in your area, Tesla reliability, software difficulty, resale value. Leave your thoughts below. I read every comment. Before you leave, over the next two weeks on Drive the Future, I will be covering the Tesla Pi Phone 2026, leaked specs, FSD version 15 versus Chinese Udash, real safety comparisons, and Model 2 versus BYD Seagull, the $12,000 EV battle. Make sure you subscribe to Drive the Future and turn on notifications because the next 90 days will heavily influence the next decade of transportation in America. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next deep dive investigation. Don't forget to subscribe to Drive the Future for more updates.